If you are looking for a new gaming PC and you want to play at 1080p resolution, ultra settings with high FPS at a decent price, then the PC from this video is going to be ideal for you. And not only that, but this PC is also very capable of 1440p resolution on high to ultra settings. So I will be explaining the level of performance that you are going to get as well with every component. If you are new to PCs, don't worry because everything will be explained as simply as possible. The link to all of these PC components will be down below in the video description. And with that being said, let's start. First, let's talk about the CPU. We have the AMD Ryzen 7 5700X. This is an A-core processor that's going to be amazing at 1080p resolution and also at 1440p and even 4K depending on the GPU that you're going to pair the CPU with. But for 1080p, it's going to be ideal since at this resolution, in certain titles, the CPU is going to matter more than if we are talking about 1440p or 4K resolution. Then for the CPU cooler, we have the ID Cooling SE214 XT. This is a great cooler, especially for the Ryzen 7 5700X, which is really power efficient. And that's another pro about the system if you want to save up some money in your electricity bill. Then for the motherboard, we have the ASRock B550M Pro 4. This one has plenty of features for gaming and it's only $90, so really good in terms of price or performance. And here you have multiple M.2 slots, which means that if you want to upgrade the storage down the line, you can do it easily. Then for the memory kit, we have 32 gigs of DR4 memory at 3600 megahertz. This is a really good kit and 32 gigs of RAM is going to be really good not only for gaming, but also for content creation and streaming. So overall, a great kit. Then for the storage, we have the Samsung 970 Evo Plus. Usually this storage is not ideal because of its price, but right now it's going for 50 bucks and it's one of the best drives that you can get for the price if you see it at this price point. Remember the links to all of the components will be in the description. So I do recommend you checking the latest prices to see if it's at the same price when you're watching this video. Then for the graphics card and the most important component for gaming, if you want the best gaming performance, we have the RX 6750 XT from AMD. This one is a great GPU with 12 of VRAM, making it not only amazing for 1080p but also for 1440p. In one of the latest tests from TechSpot, on a 15 game average at 1080p, the RX 6700 XT was able to average 103 FPS. And trust me, this is a really high number considering that all of the games were tested on ultra settings and we are talking about high demanding titles. The RX 6750 XT is slightly faster and the performance is closer to the RTX 4060 Ti, which got an average of 111 FPS. FPS, so you can expect the 6750 XT to average around 108 FPS on this test. And as I said before, this is a really high demanding titles test on ultra settings. For example, The Last of Us Part 1 on ultra quality, the 6700 XT over 80 FPS on average, which is amazing for these type of games. Then Spider-Man Remastered, the 6700 XT over 144 FPS on average, Howard's Legacy over 75 FPS on average, Cyberpunk 2077 over 90 fps on average on high quality settings so as you can see this is a great 1080p ultra settings experience across all high demanding titles and if you want to play easier to run games you can expect over 240 fps on average if you play on competitive settings although if fortnite is your favorite game i do recommend you going with an nvidia gpu which i will talk about in a second but before doing that on a 15 game average at 1440p the 6700 xt got an average of 74 fps so you can expect the 6750 XT to average around 75 to 78 FPS. Once again, really good performance since we are talking about ultra settings and 1440p resolution. So if you want to upgrade to a 1440p monitor down the line, you will have no issues and you have 12 gigs of VRAM, which is actually going to be helpful at 1440p ultra settings. Then for the case, we have the Bitfinex Nova Mesh Micro ATX Mini Tower case. This one is amazing in terms of price or performance because you get great airflow, three pre-installed fans, so you don't have to buy more fans and install them yourself and it's only $58 so overall really great case I have no complaints about this one especially at this price point point. and last but not least we have the MSI mag 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply CT rated unit meaning that it's going to be good quality for this type of build and it fits the wattage requirement now the total price for this system is $850 when I'm recording this video but if Fortnite is your favorite title as I said before Nvidia GPUs work better I would recommend you buying the RTX 4060 
DCI in that case, even though I do not love that GPU because of its price performance. And it's going to cost you about $50 more for about the same rasterized performance in most titles. And you also get less VRAM, which is not going to be ideal for 1440p. But if you're thinking of playing just 1080p and you want to play competitive Fortnite, then the 4060 Ti is going to be a solid option that you may want to consider. So if you buy the 4060 Ti, the total price for the entire system is going to be $892 compared to the $850 bucks that you are spending if you buy the 6750 XT. And if you have more money to spend for around $150 to $200 more, you can get really high FPS on ultra settings at 1440p instead of 1080p. So if you are interested on a gaming system that's going to be really good down the line for 1440p resolution, I do recommend you watching my video on the best PC builds of the month for every budget and every resolution you will have that one on the cards in the top right of the screen thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one